Hello and welcome to this guide to using the report writing template which you've probably downloaded from either my website Coleman Web or from my resources on the TES website. So first of all just to give you a quick overview of it um, we've got the several tabs along the bottom here which you can click through. The main one, the one that it opens on, um, has got basically it's our main table where we're going to put all the information in. Um, what we're then going to do, we're then going to click on the do and the export button which will then generate our reports for us. The blue tabs are all of our comments that we'll be choosing from and we'll be choosing them and representing them with numbers as we go down. One thing to note, we've got two versions of the comments. We've got a teacher version which is just to the point as, as we might sometimes think about it and then we've got more professional comments, the polite comments, the ones actually go home. For each of these blue tabs here just go through, print the page out and have that page in front of you as you're putting the numbers into the main page. Adjust the page breaks. Okay, so I'm going to go just down to there. There's a couple of other pages that you might want to look at. Um, the gender page, this tells the computer where to split things like him, her, he, she and so on. What we have had to do is to make different instances for uh, whether it's capital him, capital her, or just a lowercase him and her. There's another page which uh, I'll come back to later. These are just comments, restrictions on using the main thing. Back to the main page, if you do more than one report per class a year, then you might want to say that it's your second or third report. The green cells is to actually import the names of our students. You can see that we're going to need surname followed by name. Okay, so now I'm going to copy these names copy them into our um, report writer. I'm going to actually paste special, I'm just going to paste the values so that we keep all of the formatting and so on. And it's then prompting us to go down saying if it's a boy or a girl. The next step, um, we need to put in what level they're at. The reason for this is it will then generate some automatic targets. If they're less than a level three, then just put a three anyway. But down the bottom here, um, it's telling us what to put here. This list happened to be A-level, um, so we've got A-level targets. So I'm going to go all the way down, A-level students. Okay, and you can even see one comment's being generated over here. I'm going to copy these all the way down. There we go. Just go down, fill in our introductions. I haven't got mine printed out, so I'm going to go from here. Let's look at all the able and brilliant students. So I'm going to give number ones to all of my brilliant students. What else have we got? Um, some are good, some are just all right. Pleasant but struggles. Yeah, we've got a few of those. So now we come on to behavior. One thing to note here is negative comments for behavior are the ones which are 10 and above. The reason for that is that the report template will automatically, if we put a number 10 or above in here, it will kick out a behavior target over here. So it always works hard. So we can just fill in this one's a 10 and you can see straight away we're kicking out a behavior comment over there. Then we come on to classwork. So classwork is done. We move on to homework. We've got the choice of using a homework list same as the classwork behavior and so on, or using a homework table. Homework table is a bit different. With homework, you often get judged on two things, whether it's on time or whether it's any good. So who hands in homework late? There's our late ones, our ones that are always on time. Our standard of homework, you've probably spotted that bad comments appear in red and they come alongside with an automatic target. We're going to carry on and do progress as we've done all the other comments. We've got three other columns which are just spares at the moment if you need to put any comments in. One thing about entering comments, as you enter your comments put your teacher version in, put your parent version in. Once you've put those in you do need to click copy because that will sort out all of the gender issues. This is counting the number of characters in the report. If your maximum was only a thousand then it will then show you which ones exceed the number of characters allowed in the report so you could go through and shorten the ones you need to. We can now enter some subject or general targets if we want to. We're picking up subject targets 
automatically because we put in a level and because we said which reporting session it is those are being picked up from here the idea here is just write them once we don't need to think about the targets every single time if we want some general targets there's quite a few to choose from when you're finished click do you will need to have macros enabled this then creates our report for us you can either leave it like this and copy the cell or if you prefer you can click export and the computer creates the report comments for us so we can read it a little bit easier that's about it we're done we've done all of our reports and coming back to that readme page macros don't work on Macs. please don't edit the shaded areas because they contain all the formulas remember to press copy after entering new comments please don't use percentage symbols please use the word percent instead the reason for that is that the percentage symbol is used to tell the computer where the name of the student occurs once you're done with the report you can just click clear all this will reset everything if everything does happen to go wrong and, and you've edited some of the shaded areas when you didn't mean to just download the file again and, and start over hope this has been useful if you want to download any other resources feel free you can visit my website at colemanweb.co.uk or use some of the other resources from my tes website thank you for watching good luck with the reports template thank you